This is it, what? Cohiba lit, what? We got that yak up in the cup and getting bent, what? Put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. This is it, what? That Chiba lit, what? You got some drink up in your cup and getting bent, what? So put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. The Bible tell us that silence is gold. But my ears can still hear and my eyes can still see. The Bible also tells us to be swift to hear and slow to speak. You see, what you don't understand, thief, what you did is what my people deal with all the time. Someone cheating them from providing their greatness into the world. But it's a burden that we cut off only to make us stronger. I saw in the first fight where Ricky had him was pulling down your gloves to put your fist in the improper position. Y'all tried the same method the second time, but this time you scratched flesh out of my ears, which caused my ears to bleed. It's impossible for a brand new 10 ounce glove to bend, to keep a smushed in form, or to have loose space. I highly believe you put something hard in your glove, something the size and the shape of an egg weight. Here's the reason why the side of my face swelled up in an egg weight form. And it left a dent in my face as well. <laughs> but in the midst of it all, you still couldn't keep this king down. You would have had to kill me. In the end, it took a crab in a bucket referee and a disloyal trainer to throw the towel in just to stop me. <laughs> Proverbs the six, chapter 30, 31 says, excuses may be found from a thief who steals because he is starving. But if he is caught, he will have to pay back seven times what he stole, even if he had to sell everything in his house and payback is coming. You are tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Rumor alert, Deontay Wilder versus Charles Martin. Yes, Deontay Wilder versus Charles Martin. Now, we all know that Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are going through their mediation process and possibly arbitration coming up on whether their trilogy is going to happen or not. As a backup plan, if that fight does not happen, then it seems like Charles Martin is the top guy on Deontay Wilder's list. And <laughs> it was funny that this name came up because I've been saying on this channel since the start of this channel that Al Heyman... Shelly Finkel, PBC, should have matched these two up when they were both champions back in 2016. Now, for the people that are not familiar with what I'm talking about, let me give you a little stroll down memory lane. Deontay Wilder won a WBC belt from Bermain Stavern in 2015. Charles Martin won a version of the heavyweight championship and his opponent actually got injured in the fight. And that's how Charles Martin actually won the title. Al Heyman had a decision to make either put Charles Martin up against Deontay Wilder and the winner would be a unified champion or send Charles Martin out to the UK almost immediately after that fight and have him fight Anthony Joshua for a big bag of money. Obviously, we know that they sent Charles Martin out there against Anthony Joshua and he got destroyed. He, he got demolished in that fight and that belt has been out there in the UK ever since. <laughs> I know he lost it to Andy Ruiz for a hot second, but that belt has been out in the UK since 2016. And I always said that 
I question how much Al Heyman, Shelly Finkel, PBC actually believed in Deontay Wilder long term because all of that Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua talk from years back, it should have been Deontay Wilder that should have had multiple belts and not Anthony Joshua. But Al Heyman made that move at that particular time to get Charles Martin paid and to get himself paid because he got paid a couple million dollars for that fight when they could have kept that belt in-house and if Wilder would have won he would have had two belts and he would have went into any negotiation with Anthony Joshua at that particular time or any other champion at that particular time and he would have been practically the A-side so I always felt like that was a huge mistake by Al Heyman and, and PBC at that particular time but for this fight to be talked about right now, um, to be honest with you, I don't have a problem with the fight. I don't have a problem with the fight. Um, Charles Martin is a southpaw. Um, Charles Martin is a is a solid fighter. He's no bum. Like let's get that out of the way. He is no bum, but he's no Tyson Fury either. We need Deontay Wilder back in the ring. Um, he needs to be active. He needs to get a fight under his belt. A victory under his belt because he went through the only loss of his career and the worst beating that he's ever taken in his career so we need to find out if wilder is still wilder you understand what i'm saying so i don't have a problem with this fight now there's also a rumor going around that this fight might be on pay-per-view i got a big ass problem with that if that's the case i got a huge problem with this fight being on pay-per-view. Um, I didn't even like um, Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz being on pay-per-view. Um, I, I didn't like that at all. Um, this is a Showtime fight or a Fox fight. This is no pay-per-view fight. Um, Charles Martin doesn't have that big of a name. Um, he just beat Gerald Washington, which was a, a solid victory. But... Charles Martin is not, you know, ringing any bells anywhere. And Deontay Wilder is coming off the worst loss of his career. There's no way on God's green this fight should be on pay-per-view. And if it is, there's no way on God's green I'm paying for it. Um, I'll hear about the results afterwards or, or watch somebody um, put the highlights up on YouTube after the fight is over. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not paying no pay-per-view for Deontay Wilder versus Charles Martin. The only way I would pay for it is unless the undercard is absolutely stacked. I mean, that thing got to be stacked. I mean, three other fights, they got to be championship fights, and they got to be it got to be high level competition. That's the only way I would pay for pay per view for Deontay Wilder versus a Charles Martin. Like I, I hope that's a, just a bad rumor and that's not the case. But if it is, I'm I got a big ass problem with that, huge problem. But I'm going to keep my ear to the street, and I'm going to see what's going to happen with this situation. We gonna we have to find out if Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, the trilogy, is going to happen first. If not, then it looks like it's going to be Charles Martin. Um, and again, I don't have a problem with the fight, and it's something that um, Deontay Wilder needs. He he needs to get back in the ring, and he needs, to, um, he needs to get a W. He needs to get a W, and that's the bottom line. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.